Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a quick episode on the coronavirus and chronopocalypse. That's what I'm naming it, and I'm not trying to make light of it. I'm just trying to, um, I mean, I guess maybe I am a little bit. Um, but yeah, uh, there is a podcast that um, just put out a rec- recent episode. It's Tim Timothy Ferris's um, podcast. I believe you can find it on um, a number of different um platform spotify Sp- spotify is the one i listen to but there's also itunes and a bunch of other ones and he actually has even if you don't want to listen to it there's a bunch of links below in the show description on how you can help and certain different things um i have picked up a few things and done a little bit of research um there isn't still yet anything that's like a definitive cure or preventative like it'll um, help you out 100 percent um, there are some things I think you can do to maybe increase your chances and kind of create some of a buffer, but it isn't, isn't a cure-all and it isn't a cure, is isn't a vaccine of any kind. Um, and a lot of this is um, kind of basic common sense and stuff, but some of it's a little bit more elaborate. Um, you know, um, getting good sleep is, is, uh, a, is always a good thing, eating a healthy diet. Um, trying to avoid, um, you know, processed food, sugar, and desserts, if at all possible. Um, you know, as far as supplements go, a good multivitamin, uh, zinc, uh, picolinate is actually and also a good form, like highly, um, a good high quality one that's easily absorbed, either be it liposomal, um, uh, liposomal liquid, or um, um, liposomal liquid or even like a suppository if you can. Um, vitamin D you can take around probably 5,000 to 6,000 IU. Um, I would try to get a good quality one that is um, not derived from soy. Um, and vitamin C you can actually take up to 10 grams a day. Um, but I would divide it up because if you take it all at once it will give you diarrhea. Um, also, another thing is that, you know, with all this downtime, there's a lot of time to kind of work on yourself, work on your health, which is what I've been doing. I have a lot of um, daily habits I um, get into and weekly habits, such as like, you know, meditating, um, taking gut binders, uh, drinking a lot of water. Um, there's a few other things like doing weekly coffee enemas and other stuff like that. Um, I would say... And for a lot of people, especially those that are, have kind of severe health issues like me, um, this isn't really new. It's kind of um, typical for us. So it's not like we go out already. So if you feel like connecting with others that you know, I mean, you don't have to reach out to a random person. You know, they may be able to offer some advice. or Maybe they're probably just lonely and they need someone to talk to. Um, zinc actually can help uh, fight against viruses. Um from a naturopath I went to recently, he told me that the um, there's an anti-malarial drug that is being kind of anecdotally um, used for um, fighting uh, coronavirus, and what that allows is actually for the zinc to get into the cells of the, the I guess the cells are actually the the virus and kill it. Um, but if you get a good good quality zinc picolinate. Um, around 30 milligrams, you should be fine. Um, and you don't need to take this anti-malarial drug. Um, there are several different herbs that protect against viral infections. I'm mostly familiar with the Cowden Support Protocol. Um, there's a lot of different herbs in those that are pretty commonly used for antiviral, but also antibacterial and a few other things as well, too. Um, I can't think of one kind of off the top of my head, um, but I did find... I just briefly did some research. There are some herbs that will protect and um, help fight against viruses. Uh, these herbs are such as oregano, sage, basil, fennel, garlic, lemon balm, peppermint, rosemary, echinacea, sambucus, licorice, and astragalus. Astragalus? I think that's how you say it. Um, ginger, ginseng, and dandelion. Um, also, the other thing is things that might help is just um, staying well hydrated, um, especially if you do sit, get sick or worry about juicing. I think that's a great way to kind of hydrate your body as well as get extra kind of vitamins and nu- 
uh, minerals and nutrients into your body. Um, and yeah, just try to kind of make the most of it. Don't try to go out too much unless you really have to. Um, and what was I saying? Um, and don't hoard. I mean, there's nothing wrong with prepping and kind of getting yourself ready. Um, but I would kind of more focus on food and stuff like that and getting, if you can, bulk prep, bulk prep as well too. But that's it for um, this episode. I would highly recommend checking out the Timothy Ferris episode. Um, I don't want to kind of go over what he's already gone over. Um, it's only, ten, um, I think, 18 episodes or 18 minutes long. Um, so it's a quick lesson, but he also has a bunch of links in the show notes on things to help, ways to help. Um, but yeah, everyone hang in there. I don't know when this episode will exactly be um kind of a um, broadcast um right now i'm recording on the 26th because i'm recording a few episodes before i start um publishing my podcast um but i hope everyone was all well. take care um feel free feel free to reach out to me um and hopefully soon they'll get a better handle on this and we can all start living normally But I'll see you all later. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.